Welcome back everybody. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at SGV News as he is just released from jail. And of course, what is the first thing he does? He begs for money. Because for some reason, a YouTuber with over a quarter million subscribers doesn't have a couple thousand dollars to spare for his freedom. Anyways, with that being said, enjoy the video. Let me out. We're telling them, let us out. Do it now. Mm. Mike D, James Johnson, Joe Mama, Irving Ruiz, Sarah Mesa in the house. What's good? <laughs> Raider Q. I don't know. Yeah, I even told those cops, I was like, what is the problem? I am out here praying. I am praying, practicing my First Amendment freedom of religion, my friend. What is the problem? He's like, yeah, you can go ahead and do that all you want. We just got to check if you have a firearm. <laughs> Obviously, that's a complete lie. We're not fools. He was not praying. He was harassing churchgoers, and they were actually practicing their First Amendment, their freedom of religion. But he was trying to interfere with that First Amendment, and he must have threatened them with his taser, and that's why he got arrested. I believe it was one felony and one misdemeanor. It was threats and also conspiracy to commit a crime because he did that with another criminal. Anyways, now he's facing a year in jail, so you best believe he will e bang. Sick. Sick Man, they brought me breakfast and it was like this fucking nasty huevo and these nasty potato, potato looking yeah. things. Oh, and then a fucking nasty bagel. That was fucking like a week. Dude, I took like a tiny bite. I was like, oh, fuck that. I just threw everything away. I ate the orange. I got a bologna sandwich and the inmates that got all offended, they're like, that's salami. I was like, okay, bro. Bro, it ain't bologna, man. Appreciate everybody that showed up. Appreciate you guys, man. You guys are awesome. Dude, they put, that's how ghetto they are in there. They have to, they put the number, your booking number on your hand. Did you get your little brown cup and your red spoon? Yeah. Hell yeah. And a, and a letter, an a envelope, and a paper. Oh, they, gave you, they gave you the welfare kit with the little toothbrush, yeah. letters, and a pencil. And... Hell yeah, I was about to write a letter. <laughs> I got a custom pencil, man. I traded it around and they got me a freaking no shit. Like a little okay. Yeah, there's this food that had like a little jar of some like I guess like like seasoning or something. Yeah, He's yeah, like one pinch, one pinch. <laughs> the guy's off. <laughs> and I was like, dude, this is horrible, man. <laughs> So now we have a career criminal that is complaining about jail. I mean, first of all, you've been there before. It's not like it's a surprise. And second of all, what were you expecting? A five-star resort? This is jail. It's meant to be a punishment. Right. King Charles, Britain in the house. From Iraq! Sick. <laughs> Merchies! From Iraq, hell yeah. Appreciate y'all tuning in, guys. We still need to collect uh, about $4,000 of bail, guys, if you guys are able to donate to a PayPal. PayPal me at SGV News First. We gotta get this bail collected, guys. We are able to collect uh, about 1100 yesterday. 1200 something like that <coughs> but we're gonna have to lawyer up on this one guys so we're gonna have to also if you guys are willing to help we got to lawyer up and start collecting fees to get our lawyer on this if you guys can help us out man i got four charges two misdemeanors two felonies stack them Yeah, you in the brown. Come over here. 
So here they are whining, saying that they're going to need money for an attorney and for the bail. But I do have a question. If he doesn't have enough money for bail, why is he out of jail? He must have already posted bail, and now he's just trying to scam his audience. I mean, his audience is extremely stupid. You have to be so dumb to think that a YouTuber that has hundreds of millions of views on the internet and has a quarter million subscriber actually needs your money to get out of jail. That is ridiculous. You would have to be one of the most gullible moron to actually believe a single word that this guy is saying. Oh, they knew that we were for some Amendment auditors. They knew, yeah. they knew it because they're like, yeah, these guys are for some Amendment auditors. When we got here, they're like, oh, like the deputies, oh, what did they get arrested for? And then the, the officer starts telling them all these guys, they go around and harass the police, blah, blah, blah. Oh, really? So, and then he goes to the other deputy and he tells them, oh, yeah, he's covering his mouth. Oh, yeah, these are the guys, the auditors that harass the cops and blah, blah, blah. And then I was, and then I was like, oh, damn, you guys are targeting us now? Uh, I was like, sick, so you guys don't like us because we film you guys? What the fuck? They got body cams, so hopefully they got all that on their body Hopefully, man. Lawyer up, lawyer up, guys. It's time to lawyer up on this, so we did nothing wrong. They tried to bust out four charges. Nice. <laughs> all the chingas. <laughs> Look at this, guys. 302, 422, 148, and 182. This is actually very interesting because yesterday I posted an update. I got my information from the frog and there was only one misdemeanor and one felony. But now it looks like they added another felony and another misdemeanor. So there is disturbing a religious meeting, criminal threats, obstruction and conspiracy. Honestly, it's about time that the Californian officers stand up for the community. Great job to them today. Crystal yeah. ball, oh, what's up? Okay. Okay. If you guys can, send me a PayPal, guys. Support the cause. We're out here. Just got released. We got a got a deal from the bail bondsman for um. Not 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 my friend. <laughs> Sick ass fool. Oh yeah. Thank you, man. Jeff Morales, guys. He came to save us. Yesterday. Appreciate you, brother. Oh yeah. Did you know that was me? Yeah. Yeah. Right. I didn't know it was you because I couldn't see your face at first. But when you went like that, and I was like, oh hell yeah. So this is pretty much an unemployed loser convention. But honestly. I'm really mind boggled by the fact that people support SGV. I mean, isn't it obvious that he's just trying to harass people? It has nothing to do with the First Amendment. I mean, let's think about it for a second. The only entity that is able to violate your First Amendment is the government. What do harassing churches have to do with that? Absolutely nothing. The churches, the Popeye's restaurant, the old ladies getting pepper sprayed, they cannot violate your First Amendment. So obviously this is just a scam and millions of people are falling for it and subscribing to these morons. There's something really wrong with them. So yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in out here with the whole entire First Amendment crew out here, man. Sick. We got a sick one out here today, guys. And yesterday, a mob was here yesterday. They got kicked out. They got trespassed off the property. They had to leave. Because what? Marshmallow Man. Hey. That, was, that was his name in the chat. Marshmallow oh, okay. Man. Oh, man. Damn. We're going to need those donos, guys. We need you guys to come through for us today. This is the day, guys, where, you know, we never asked for much, but we had to get out of jail. It was 8000 and the bail bondsman dropped it down to 5500 It was 5 for me and 3 for PLA. Um, Yeah, it was a mess in there, though, guys. They had us in a holding cell for, like, 11 hours before they actually booked us in. And they couldn't take us up to um, to um, housing until we were booked into the system. So they literally had us, like, 
laid out on some sick ass benches in the holding tank all day from like what 12 o'clock all the way to like almost almost 12 hours to like 11 or something they took us finally upstairs i don't need it twice thank you mj appreciate you mj805 big chief Jen well appreciate you showing up Jen well big big support love it thank you hit that thumbs up guys let's get some more folks in here yeah man these cops are dirty man they uh the sergeants are the ones that uh you seen the one of the other officers was already letting me go and then the sergeant decides no 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 he's going to jail 148 148 for delaying our investigation for what my friend i already come over here and everything what is problem <laughs> he act like i delayed i was like i have every right to question the authorities when when they you know when they come up on you what do you mean that's not a delay i'm questioning what do you want you know what is problem Honestly, SGV is the worst piece of garbage out of all of them. I'm really glad that finally the cops are doing something and they're tacking on some more felonies, more misdemeanors on him. Now he's going to have a really hard time fighting this out. And if he gets convicted, I think this will be a great template on this is what you do when these frauditors are harassing churchgoers. You just put them in jail. You know, these fools right away when we, when we got in here, they saw that I had a, ta a, a holster on my hip for my taser, and they're like, oh, you got a holster? What's that for? And I was like, my taser. Oh, you carry a taser? Why do you carry a taser? You know? And then, uh, and, oh, yeah, oh, these are those guys. These are those guys. Oh, they're going to have fun in here. Oh, they're going to have a lot of fun in here is what they said. Yeah, this is a horrible place to be in, guys, when you're locked up and held against your will. Especially when you didn't do anything wrong. People lie to have you arrested and this is what happens. And this is how they treat you. Instead of saying like, you know what? Uh, you know, you guys have a right, this and that. And educating the people. Nope. They trump up other charges. Make it worse. OG Vato. Tell us now. Hurry up. Jay-Z. Honestly, I think we've heard enough of this e-bagging moron. This guy is such a grifter. Any YouTuber that has over a quarter million subscribers is making money hand over fist. And the fact that he is actually disgusting enough to try to guilt trip his audience into giving him money is ridiculous. But I guess they're so stupid that they're going to fall for it. So that's on them. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next video. If you enjoy this video, I'm sure you will also enjoy my other channel, Josh Prime. On that channel, I cover drunk drivers, idiots, Karens, all sorts of criminals. So I'll see you there. The link is in the description. I live here.